My name is Jonas Olson, and we are Turf Badge. So the last few years have actually been pretty tough. So back in 2019, we had a bunch of big plans. We were gonna take over a bunch of small markets in my area, and I was gonna take over this small town, this small town, this small town, and then eventually get to Green Bay, Wisconsin. And I presented the issue to Jonathan. So Jonathan looked at me and he said, well, why is the biggest town last? That's the end game. Why don't you just move there? 2020 hit and we got shut down in Michigan for two and a half months. We couldn't work at all. It forced me to start driving to Green Bay, which is two hours. So I literally got up at four o'clock every single morning and I drove down to Green Bay. I know Jason Cup said a lot of times in the past, like sometimes you gotta put your back against the wall and just go to work. And that's what we did. So basically I started all over from scratch and had to do everything that was taught to me through academy. You know, I had service autopilot implemented already, but I had to basically start over from zero. So after a few months, they started to loosen things up back in Michigan and my office started going back up in Michigan. We're down in Wisconsin. So at this time I'm running like two companies simultaneously. You know, it was it was a fun year. Like I said, I worked hard, I learned a lot. But at the end of the year, you know, I had to look at bank accounts and what we were doing in one and what we were doing in the other. I just realized quickly that the services that we were offering down there were extremely profitable, way more profitable than what we were doing up here. So I decided at the start of 2021 to actually sell my entire company up in Michigan and again, start over from scratch. We hired some phenomenal people. We got some really good sales guys, some really, really good operational guys. And I feel like I got really lucky. My brother was one of them. His business kind of was taking a hit from COVID. And so I just told him, you know, why don't you come work with us? He's actually running the entire office down there operation. He's a branch manager down there. I hired James, one of my sales guys. He's 23 years old. He's a, just a different animal. It took me six months to actually recruit the kid. You know, I kept calling his mom. I'd call his dad. I was his wrestling coach. He would just ghost me for a while. And the place that he was working at closed down too. He finally sat down and had a good conversation with me. He came in and he lit the place up. And without one a credible kid like that, again, we couldn't have done what we've done over the last few years. And then of course, I have to talk about Dylan. You know, Dylan found us. He was working at a prison up in Marquette. He was doing some sales on the side with Kirby. He heard about us, he came in and we had a connection right away. He has an amazing work ethic. He just took it and he ran with it. He's an incredible guy. And then I have to talk about, you know, my office. They really keep me dialed in. They run my day-to-day -day schedule these days. Stacy runs the office. She runs both office operations. She's the one that's up with me at 12, one o'clock in the morning, going over things for the month. She's an absolute killer. I know a lot of you guys have met her, have talked with her. She's helped you with some things in Service Autopilot. Another massive win for us, he's the guy that's behind the camera right now, is Dalton. We hired him as a full-time videographer. He has made me look good for the past year. He's running all of our social media. Our TikTok's taken off, our Instagram's taken off. And I know Jonathan always said that content is king. I knew what he meant, but I never really implemented it the way he told me to. So this year we went all in. Again, I can't thank him enough. He's been a huge asset to our team and our marketing. I hope to keep this guy happy for a long time. So now that brings us to 2022 and we took off like a rocket. We grew over 500%. We used all the marketing tactics that we've been taught through Academy. When you scale that fast, you know, what I've learned, it doesn't matter about revenue at the end of the day. It just matters about how profitable you are. We sat between 25 and 29%. I cannot tell you how proud I am of our team and I cannot wait for 2023 to show you guys what we're doing next. I knew that in 2020, when COVID hit, that if I wanted to go where I needed to go, that I needed to fix myself. For the guys that know me, which I kind of always went to the gym, but I really took it to a new level. When I look back at the pictures from the last couple of service autopilot events, like I don't recognize myself. I've gotten calls from people recently and over the past year or two that have all said the same thing, like you've gone to a whole new level. One of the biggest things that I stopped doing was I actually stopped drinking. I'm 100% sober, been sober for two years. It's just like one of those habits that when you got done with work, you know, you're stressed out, you just sit home, and you just have a beer. If you do certain things for so long, you know, it's just turns into a habit and not all habits are good. So I decided to stop drinking and when I stopped drinking, I got so much clarity and I became ultra focused on what I wanted to do. And I remember talking to Jonathan and we we're talking about events and you know, I used to go down there just to party and hang out with my friends, but now I'm going there to network and talk to people and learn as much as I possibly can. And if I would have kept drinking, I could not do what I'm doing at this level. One of my favorite things about not drinking was actually something that I didn't expect. 
and that was actually inspiring the people around me to quit drinking too. I never asked them to, they just saw what I was doing and they noticed how much different of a person that I was. They stopped drinking, they've stopped smoking. They become a much healthier version of themselves as well. It's just super humbling to know that I can affect that many people by just changing one small habit that I had in my life. So in 2017 is when I started using Service Autopilot. Kind of like all of you, I, jumped, I was just hectic. I was using Excel spreadsheet paper. Jumped on the internet and I just searched lawn care software and then all of a sudden Jonathan's video pops up and he's talking about lawn care millionaire and he's wearing his black shirt. Signed up that night. That same night I'm up till four, five o'clock in the morning trying to enter in all my uh, customers and figure out how, how it works. And looking back on it, like, I don't know how I ever made it to where I was without Service Autopilot. That same night is when I found the Academy link and saw a video of Jordan Webb, John the cost maker and his awesome video. And I was like, man, I just want to be like those guys. Now they're some of my best friends. So from 2000 to 2022, we've made a lot of changes through our Service Autopilot account as well. Our videos and estimates and sending those off look super professional and just auto charge people people's credit cards like I didn't know any of that and it's literally made my business possible in 2022 one of the biggest changes we did that was a home run for us is we implemented the tip to tech strategy sending out text messages after the technicians clock out and it gives them the option to either leave a review or they can actually leave a tip right online our technicians really really bought into that so what this did for the technicians and not only gave them a couple extra hundred dollars that didn't come from the company itself but it actually motivated them to do a better job so not only are they making more money but they're happier they're having more fun and they're doing a better quality job because they know that the better job that they do the more incentive they are to get a tip or even a review from the customer we also use 21 days to close by mike callahan automation has also been a big win for us we've built a lot of automations ourselves we have automations from service autopilot the measuring tool you know that you can go and measure the lawn to sell over the phone that's a massive win over our competitors in our market and without service autopilot we would not be able to do what we've done today. Academy has been invaluable to me, not only for the sessions that we learned and the topics that we talked about monthly, but the friendships that I've gained throughout that are now these people that I didn't know at the time are my best friends. It's cool to learn from them, be able to talk to them on a daily basis and just continue the friendship that we've had over the years. Some of the strategies that I learned early on in Academy, we actually implemented again in the new company to help us scale fast, dominate your market strategy. There was Master Your Financials by Jason and cup business model upgrade which has probably been the most impactful i had to really think about the model that i could run in my market and i didn't want to do snow ever again and i didn't necessarily want to do landscaping so i had to figure out what service i could provide that i could do year round in my market i was sick of fighting the battle of like going into winter we'd have a bunch of cash and then also we'd dive through the winter and then we'd start back over in the spring and i just had to get away from it i hated that business model there was really only one service that we provided at the time that we could actually do year round and that was pest control once i learned pest control we went all in and we were actually 80 percent pest control and 20 percent lawn care now a couple other ones that I can think of top of my head that really stand out is the 80-20 of branding, just wrapping your vehicles, how brand is be so important in the future. And the other one that I already kind of touched on was using video to sell. And I underutilized that for the longest time and we are fully implementing that going forward. It's going to be a massive strategy in the future. The one key person that you know, was the biggest impact on my life is our mentor. I want, I want to say mine because he's not mine, he's ours. Has been Jonathan. He's been a rock. When I met him, my whole life changed. You know, I was just this lost kid doing 200,000 in revenue and couldn't figure out what I was doing. And there are some things that he said that I've never, I've never forgotten. First thing he said is to think bigger. I'm from this small town of 14,000 people and I've never been out anywhere. And every time that I feel like I'm thinking bigger, like I get there and I'm like, man, I gotta think way bigger. So, you know, setting the vision, you're working it way backwards from 10 years, five years, three, two, and then one. And implementing now what the business can look like in the future is one thing that I'll never forget. There's a conversation that came up and he'll know exactly what I'm talking about where someone in the group asked him if he was proud of us. And he didn't say no, but he didn't say yes. And that's when the light bulb clicked. Like he's given us all this information. He's spending all this time on us. We have the resources, we have the tools, and now it's time to go to work and use it. So every single day for the past year and a half since that conversation, I wrote down that I was gonna make JP proud. I put my head down and we worked our tail off to make him proud. 2023 
is looking like a massive year. We actually just opened up an office five hours away in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and we are opening up another office in Madison, Wisconsin, so we're in two separate states. And I'm thankful to have you know, Jonathan by my side and all the experts, the Jason Cups, the Mike Callahan's, the Tony Ricketts, all those people in my corner to help us take this thing to the next level. And I cannot wait to see what the future holds because I told Jonathan a number in my head that I'm not gonna give up until I get there. So I'm not the smartest person in the room, but I have awesome friends that I've met at Academy. I have great mentors and I couldn't be more thankful.